Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Hello, Chucky. Good to see you again. So, today we're going to play Amazon Nature again. As long as we don't have the new expansion, I think Amazon is still playable. But I'm really afraid they will be not later. But we will see. I might try it anyway. Maybe I could make a hybrid deck with the new nature cards and Amazons. We'll see. So, let's play our 10 P2E games and then we're going to switch again to Outlaws of Thunder Junction Draft in Magic the Gathering Arena. This looks like Hidden Rush Deception. Is Strength Steel Deception? Ah, it's, it looks more like Hidden Rush and Guild, and it's just called like that. I don't know, he's not stealing too much strength with this. Ah, oh, this matchup is going to be hard, I guess. Let's shuffle Feet Honeblade in. Underbrush Boar is good. I'm not sure about River Jumper, I guess I'll shuffle him. This looks good. Seriously, I hate Mythic. <laughs> Chucky. Ah, because of the question mark, guys. I see, I see. Yeah, I, I don't know why people are still doing this. It's so strange. Probably to hide their bad manners. Okay, Rogue Skalka takes our little guy down. I think we're going to trade the contract broker off to make sure Underbrush Boar is running over that patient pickpocket. I think that's important. Chucky, are you playing in, in Mythic lately? Cooked Quartermaster. Now he's going to use Tipper. Tip already hates it. Come on, you are finishing that Quartermaster, right? You're a good boy. No! Oh, damn it. Then I guess we play Finian to get an apple and we hide Finian behind our Pyramid Warden. Too bad the confused boar was not going for the quartermaster. Yay, 11 win. Nice. I, I guess I have the same. I had the same and then we get ranked. Good job, Chucky. Good job. So, I guess he's going to play a stone skin poison on our Finian. And he's probably playing one or two more guild characters. Stone skin poison on Pyramide Warden, okay. Markalicious! Yeah! Welcome back, man. Good to see you. It's time to duel for sure. Dark knives. Okay. And another one. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's finish the big one. Hey, Professor! Welcome back and good to see you. I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing, man? Let's get rid of the 4-1 Quartermaster. And hope that the boar is attacking correctly this time. Yes! Good. Good, thank you. Ah, nice. Great to hear that. 
So I guess it looks not too This is not the way. Hidden. That looks Whisper Baron Green Leaf. Welcome back. Good morning. So what are we going to do? We can grab something from Sanctum. We could create. I guess I guess we are going to use the trial begins. Just way more reliable than our god power. No, it will give us something good. I guess we go for Myrtle's daughter, huh? We are now at five. Mana, we could go for six mana, but then it takes a turn. I guess Myrtle's daughter is a good. Let me just this one too. I hate getting my hands dirty. Cheers. Hunting trap on Pyramide Warden. Let's see what he's getting back. Hmm. Trying to get the games done quick. Hidden rush deception all the way. I see, I see. So this guy. Oh! Canopy sniper, actually. We need to be to extremely lucky to kill any one of those. So I guess we are better with rushing him down with Myrtle's daughter. I think if he gets Canopy Sniper it won't, from Patient Pickpocket it won't do much. And if he gets Hawtuck it'll be too late. The game will not take until Anna. So I think it's fine. I hate Hidden Rush Deception. I think it's a it's a cool deck, but I think it was way more powerful before they nerfed uh, stealth, or maybe they didn't really nerf it, they changed it up pretty much. It's not that strong, yeah, I think so too. Well, on the other hand, the second raid first mate is pretty strong. That guy is insane. Yeah, that girl? Especially with bouncing and playing it again and so on. But I think our board is too powerful right now. Opera Scepter is not going to help here. Delph on. Trading this one off. Ah, Got only one card in his hand. This could be Hawtuck or Canopy Sniper. I can't do that. This should be fine. Is it really my job to prune back the garden? Ah, he's going to shuffle Diffya in. And then we cannot finish him next turn, huh? Yeah. Vicious Adventurer. But he only got one mana left now. GG. Nice. Pretty fast game. And the next one is starting up already.
By the way, guys, um, what do you think about the distribution of cards for the new expansion? Are you going to buy any packs or are you just going for the secondary mod? Ah, here we play against card draw magic. Come on, OBS, capture it. Let's shuffle Shredder in. I guess the rest is just all right. Nicely curved out. And River Jumper is always a pain in the ass of magic. Let's play Nightly Warrior. Second one. Nice. I'm even thinking about playing this one on turn two. Um, so an apple that Finian is going to spit out, definitely buffing a river jumper. I hope that's all right. Port. Okay, let's play another river. Uriel, welcome back. Hello, I'm always here, supporting the channel and helping it to grow. Proud to be your number one fan, bringing more people into this amazing community. Keep up the fantastic work, remember. Don't think outside of the box. Think under. Yes! Uriel, that's the way we work. Thank you so much for your support. And welcome back. Great to see you again. Hmm. Would be nice to play Finny in here already. But I think Spearfisher could be cool. We need to get rid of the spell boost guy anyway. I guess there can be several number one fans. There you go, I had... I was top leading streamer of GU with 25 people. Oh, cool. Nice. So your streams are getting off too. Awesome. Okay, ancient texts are going to take care about this one. And Wormbreath kills that one, but he's running out of cards slowly. Magic carpet, flying carpet. We do. Maybe Pyramid Warden and Hoplite. Growth requires patience. Yeah, and I had no one to raid, so I did Raid King. Raid King? What what is that? The cosmic scales must be kept in balance. Ah, King Emmon TV. Ah, yeah, okay, I see, I see. Cool. He deserves it for sure. Mm. What do we do? I guess. I can't do that. Let's take a look at Undersea Harvest. What we get. Seems like he's doing a lot to community. Yeah. I don't know, but if yes, it's definitely cool. Wow, let's go box from trail marker and try that. I don't oh, we need to. Oh, do we want that? 
I don't want to waste the pip when we have Hortak in our hand. Ah, come on. Let's go. And army, let's go. That is no beards again. Looks good, I guess. If you install Nightbot, I could take the mission of moderation and make you some commands. Yeah, I, I might do it. I have time on hand on Monday and Tuesday. And then I will take uh, care of the bot situation, I guess. Hmm. Not going to have Unbound Flames next turn. So I guess we can fill the board a little more. Oh. Is it time to hibernate I guess we go for phase. Let's do it on Monday together, if you got nothing against it. No, I, I got nothing against it. But I really want to try at first to fix um my, my bot I'm currently working with. Because otherwise it would reset all the, the points for all people, even for those that's um, working so but I'll go for Nightbot if I can really cannot get it to work thank you so much for your help Duriel thank you uh, can we finish him somehow I guess not Not much, but an honest work. I see, I see. Let's trade. I want to get rid of Rune Moth. Oh, but maybe we cannot that do it. Ah, yeah, we cannot do it. God damn it. That's sad. Then I, I should have... Oh, I don't know. Next turn, he's going to have Unbound Flames. I've done all that I can. Let's see if I can find some order in this chaos. Post him GG and he'll give up. I don't think so. I don't think so. Atlant Phalanx he's going to get. Hmm. Let's play Hawthark with Protected. Like this, he cannot finish all with Unbound Flames. Even if he got a second one. Mm -hmm. He's forced to use it. But with... Um, then he got one mana left. A uh, two mana left. Then he can ping Hortak. That's fine though. He's getting rid of so many good cards I guess. One Unbound Flames is gone again. Dimitrios... Sh 
Shredder. Not having another AoE spell, right? Gotten. Right. Let's play these three. This ought to be a I think he cannot clear the board entirely, hopefully. Bonflakes are already gone. I got seven cards in his hand. Yeah, Layhot Hatchling. And another layout hatching Eve. Oh. We could do four damage. But I guess I go with Shredder. Go on lead. Taking the rune of life so he cannot heal. The universe continues to astonish. Lantian Phalanx. Or maybe we should have actually kept Shredder for the Phalanx. We knew that he is playing that. Probably the sheep way to get rid of that. Such a petty existence. Oh, now star shard bolt or tracking bolt. So much spell boost, that's insane. Holy crap, ancient texts doing six damage. <laughs> That's really crazy. Trial begins. What could he be looking for? Awaken. No clue. Think. Gotta play, play Finian. Take a look. Swelling. Not good. Hmm. You are losing the board. To his small stuff. It's really a pit. Ah, uh, eight damage in our face. And four more. Rune of life. Still got from the rune. Land caller cap. We cannot finish him. Growth requires patience. We see some damage. He's not able to finish us now. He needs to trade for Myrtle's daughter.
Damn it, it's not going to work. We have no space for the second land caller captain when we play the first one. Shit. Ah, this is going to work. Best friends. And then we play land caller captain. We are going to do four damage. Ah, and it's barely not enough. Oh, so close. Do not make this any more difficult than it needs to be. It's going to have a worm breath. I guess. Left? Having no pyric knowledge she got left. Worm breath used both. Um Oh, GG. Wow, that was close. That was really Okay. This is Suvo, not a good matchup for us, actually. But we are going first. Going first is... Definitely good. So we might have a chance, but this deck is more mid rangey, like most aggro war decks, like with Draka Gatherer, Slapmaster Valka, Soul Survivor. Can be pretty hard. Let's shuffle Myrtle's Daughter in. The rest. Okay, I guess. We keep it. He's using Fracture, though. Fracture is always a huge. In our Amazon S. We have a nice curve though. Answer the call. Let's play Fee Torn Blade and trade that guy off. And hope he got no woodcutter imp. Ah, he got no woodcutter imp, but he can finish her anyway. Damn, what a pity. Even got an additional creature. Oh, but this is fine. A nice target for our underbrush boar. Overthinking just for him to not draw lethal. Okay. Thing is, if we play Sanctum Guardian now, it is not going to get the buff. He got Woodcutter MP, can easily trade it off, so I guess we wait until next turn. Even though it's not mana efficient. Yeah, no, no! Welcome back. Good to see you. How are you doing? Ah, uh, okay. The boar goes down to 3 1. So he's going to fracture the boar. Guess we gotta play ice. Though he got no weapon at the moment. But these two are just bad. He's going to run into Thorn Blade and this guy survives then with two health. Makes no sense. Okay. Got it. Oh, Claw and Fang a second time. Oh, such a pain. Too bad to... Hmm. He got a white for guard, we are in trouble. If he just got small creatures, Spearfisher is going to be a great help. He gotta fit trade Divya off, I think. Good. Trading or not, it's good. Because we can finish Lycaios Adherent with our Spear Fisher. And we are going to find another card. Hmm, I like that. Let's take 
the raid swarm. And we are going to grab the relic removal here too. So we have now a huge card advantage. She got only two cards left in his hand. We got five. Guy gets it. I guess we play for sure the nightly. Nightleaf Trapper and Raid Swarm. 3-3, three, three, yeah. Then we get those two ants. We can trade this one off. Cannot trade this one. Except if we maybe play Raid Swarm and Fae Flame Blade. Raid Swarm, Fae Flame Blade, Nightleaf Trapper and Sanctum Guardian. I guess that's the way to go. Yeah. You are right, guy. Good. Definitely not a good matchup for us, but if we go first, we can make it from time to time. GG, Chucky, thank you. So, next opponent is magic again. Cut draw magic. Pretty similar, the deck, like, the card draw magic we played before. Hmm, let's shuffle Raging Giant in. We are going for Going first and starting off with Pyramide Warden might be good. I think card draw magic and not deal... As good as other decks with Pyramid Warden early on. Okay, Theriel is a huge brick in our hand, but he's also a strong win condition against magic. Oh, two magic carpets. Damn it. Good. You just shit on Agrovo. <laughs> new cards are crazy. Yeah, the new cards are crazy, but we don't have any yet, so... We have to... We still have to fight hard, just Spearfisher is giving them us from time to time. And I'm not sure, guys, if I will buy any packs right now. I'm really not sure about that. Going to trade that Sanctum Guardian off, huh? My turn. Let's create. Hmm. Alas want. Oh ha. Not Oi! Uli, welcome back! Good to see you! How are you doing? Hmm. He's not playing Shaped Blast, so we don't need to be afraid that he's wiping our board off now. Galin! Oh! Take a look, is the boar hitting face or glint? I don't know where I want I to hit. You gotta trade anyway, right? Am 
When he's trading, we're going to snack him with Spearfisher. Cracking Bolt hurts, yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, but our box one guys are leaving 1-1 one, one recruits behind. Drawing with Wand. Okay, he's trading this one off. Pinging one of those. Gleam. Okay. Doing good. I think I can still make it. Awaken. At first we finish. Hollow form, compost charm and Sirene's Blessing. I think Compost Charm is just fine. Let's see where the war goes. War goes face, nice. We got now five cards left in his hand. Two of those cards are Lay Hot Hatchling. Typing the border. Probably trading for Spearfisher, yeah. And he's just passing. Can he deal at this point with Shura? I guess yes. Hmm, I don't like Demetrios and we have no way to finish him at the moment. Hmm. Awaken. I always get the new dragons from Shard and I'm positive that Dread is disgusting. I see, I see. I'm not sure what to do here. If we play Shredder and run over that Hatchling, he's going to play just the other Hatchling to finish Shredder. But what else should we do? This ought to be entertaining. We're having too much cards in our hand for Thariel, actually. Ah, he's not even using Shredder for the. Uh, I mean, they are actually. Not going to be easy. He got too many resource, too much resources. Um, maybe feed Hornblade and land caller captain. Do we want to kill this guy? Ah, he's ready for Unbound Flames. It doesn't matter. Better to go for face, I think. You always kill spell boost. I guess not in this case. If we kill him, he's for sure playing Unbound Flames. And now I think he's thinking about if he's playing Unbound Flames or not, and how do you reach reaching his face with 13? With Ariel for sure. With those cultists. Ah, now he's not playing Unbound Flames. 
Ah, Valka's Discovery. So these two are surviving. Oh, Pete Hornblade alone is surviving. Dread Dragons will be meta. So I'm trying to craft a counter to it, preferably Deception. Pretty excited for the next set, but what won't buy any packs. I see. I guess I will buy packs if... If the God's token is rising a little more. I'm just afraid that we might see um, God's token still being down. I don't want to spend them when they are so low. Just buy the cards needed from the secondary market. Yeah, that's probably the better decision. Depending on the secondary market prices. We could also play Diffia and Canopy Sniper, actually. I'm not sure. Yeah, come on. And now we have also enough space to play Therial, getting those three cultists without overdrawing the next turn. And he's down to nine, so we, if we get the Blitz guy and the plus three plus three guy from Ther Therial, it's going to be lethal. Form of power. Four mana left. Boom, breath. Fine. Let's go. God Blitz guy and plus three, plus three guy. Which one should I pick? Come on. Yeah, there's the plus three, plus three guy again. Increasing spells just in case of emergency. Prices will be crazy the first few weeks. Plus, there's the threat of nerfing. So I need to be patient. Yeah, I guess we all need to be patient. This looks like GG. Wow, four wins in a row, guys. That's crazy. It was, this is like yesterday. Yesterday we were winning four games in a row and then we were losing four games in a row. I hope it's not going to be like yesterday. You streamed yesterday? Yes, around the same time as today. I stream every day, Bully. Every single day. Shouldn't you know that? That was exactly the time I fell asleep. Took a nap, okay. Sometimes you just need to take a nap. It's the way it goes. I did came by to real what do you mean that was yesterday it was the day before isn't it with wait what are you talking about it 
It's like every day. So at some point you start confusing me. Our next match is against Midrange Magic. He's playing Acrylath, Spawn of Penrolath. Whoever can speak that name correctly. I don't know. The baby dragon with the coin. And Embaoni? And Helma? This is a strange deck. Midrange man. Mm, the last time I came to the stream, you won the 2500 gems for magic. Was it yesterday? No, that was one day before yesterday. Did you stop counting days? I have never counted any days actually. I think Underbrush Boar will be good at River Jumper Captain. So we keep those. River Jumper with the ward is always a pain for magic. Oh! Let's start with the two one drops. That is making some pressure right in the beginning, I think. Mage Bolt is going to ping him. But he's leaving the recruit behind, so if we pip into River Jumper, he'll be a 4 4 anyway. Okay. Yeah? So we use pip, we play River. Three damage in his face. Hmm. Tracking bolt. Okay, that's a pain. He might even pip to finish Nightly Foria. Is he playing Shaped Blast? Oh yeah, he's playing Shaped Blast twice. What? Starshot Bolt? Oh no. Awaken. I guess we need to create here. Otherwise we are getting too much behind with the cards. But it's bad because he's just going to ping him away now. Hmm. Oh, he's ramping. I didn't expect. Let's hit the fan. Play the boar. Let's see if I can find some order in this chaos. Hmm. The good thing is, even if he got shaped blast, Pyramide Warden doesn't find. Oh. This is some extreme ramp. Holy Undersea Harvest. I like that. If he planned the hunt, I guess he's going to play Unbound Flames anyway, isn't he? No, he got no unbound flames. Cool. Only four cards left in his hand. So I guess we are going to run with Shredder over the Layhot Hatchling. Yeah. And we try to hit the face with the boar too. With all the others for sure. Bad. But we can get the lambasting bond. Now we gotta use unbound flames. He's not having it. Trouble. He's in trouble anyway because of Therial. Yeah, unbound flames. Hopefully he's getting just the crystal tech scholar back from Pyramide Warden. And not the layout hatchling. Good. Oh, 
combat fine. We're going to play Lambasting Wand and Land Caller Captain. Next turn, when we are frenzied, we can play Raging Giant. And Raging Giant is always a pain magic set. The only thing he can easily use to get rid of that is Nighthoss. I think. Otherwise won't be this I did not foresee so he's down to 30. Drawing Ah, Blizzard Bolt. He sends him to sleep. Not bad. Thank you. Great, these two are. But still, Serial will be great. I hope. This is all not that helpful. I guess I take this case with the deck shuffle door heal. I guess I take the bot blitz. Now we just need the plus three plus three guy. Ah, and we don't get it. We don't get it. Yeah. So no lethal next turn. I guess. We'll see though. He needs to get rid still of these both huge creatures. Okay, sending one to sleep again. Combat medic heals him to 30. Looks like he cannot get rid of our raging giant. He could do two damage with the lay hot head. And he's going down to three. Looking for. Could be looking for Night Horse or Rune Moth. My turn. Okay. Let's give Overkill to our Raging Giant. Yeah, he goes face, then it is GG anyway. That was lucky. Nice! Guys, five wins in a row. What is this today? Completely insane. Hmm. Deception is our opponent here. Control deception. Hmm. I'm going to you. Right. Control deception with charm and rapture dance. Let's shuffle Sanctum Guardian. Got two. Aiko, we are going to keep because he's playing two candy chains. Good luck. Standard GU with standard inconsistencies. Yeah. Fully, I guess you are right. If we play Underbrush, will it be any good? Is he having 
too much stuff that I guess I'll just Okay. The blade won't help with armor lurker, but I think we shouldn't waste two mana here. Hmm, okay. Trading the armor locker for the boar. I guess we hit the face just to get some favor. And feet on blade should be fine. Three mana. Especially when we got an empty board. Oh, Guild Enforcer. He got one armor and three five. That's just too much for us now. The sword cannot damage it due to the armor. I guess we just play our Amazons and let the Feet Hornblade ping the face. At least River Jumper Captain can do some damage on it, but still, Guild Enforcer is a huge pain. That's the reason, because I was playing Blade of Fight Plane. But we swapped to Sartoni and Spearfisher, but Spearfisher cannot take care of that. Can only do 3 damage. Blade of Fight Plane would directly destroy it. Guild Enforcer is quite strong, I guess, these days. Because nobody is playing Blades of Fight Plane anymore. Primal Guidance? Wow. Uh -huh. Thing feet on going down to four. Land caller cap. Not ready for Rapture Dance yet. We could trade him off. Yeah, we we are going to do. And for a little bit more favor. I hate getting my hands dirty. So, he was stealing our weapon. That's so cruel. Oh, and we can barely take that Pyramid Warden down, I guess. Let's create. Wildfire is not helpful here. Okay, we gotta trade him off, even though we are going to give him so much favor. Get a trail marker back. Okay, could have been worse. Hmm. Their plan can't be that obvious. Rapture dance. There it is already. I haven't thought he would do that for just three rather small creatures. 
But I guess at just yeah 19, 18 life, he's in trouble already enough. Awakened. One turn until we can play Horta. Dogs unchained, here we go. I've done all that I can. If he's not going to finish them, we could buff them all with wildfire actually. Neat. Oh, and with Ambitious Adventurer, it looks like he's not going to finish them. Okay, okay. But the Abyss Watcher needs the Hortak treatment. I guess. I'm just afraid he might have another Rapture Dance. Hmm. But we can trade in a way like with Docs and one of those Fallen Legions. But it doesn't matter, I guess. Gain frontline and leech for sure. Then we trade two of these dogs into that one. And one fallen legion. Gaio. We go for... Grab the spot basilisk. Maybe we shouldn't even trade the 1-2 off. We could have left him with protection. Oh, he got Hortak too! Insane! Hmm. We have now seven. Fallen legions are nether, so we cannot buff those with wildfire. Let's trade those off first. He's going to heal a lot, that's a pain, but we cannot change that. Please hit the face. Ah, he's not. Okay, Underbrush Boar, Finian Fruit Bearer, and Wildfire. If the dog was hitting the face, it would have been great. Because we would get with Finian another apple, and the dog would be here with 2-2. Two, two. I guess now we are slowly getting grinded down because he got so many, so many resources left. His hand is full with seven cards, and we got just two. Oh! Oh! And he's even getting the boar and the wildfire now for more grave. This looks bad. I guess we are just dead. Hmm. We can create still, though. Sudden rally, why not? If some of our creatures survive, that could be a good hit with Canopy Sniper. Since we have now four Amazons on board, and Canopy Sniper will always deal one damage to a random enemy creature if we attack with an Amazon. So that's a potential of four additional damage if he's not killing them all with Rapture Dance or something. Ah, but he is killing them all. Okay. Hey, Game Fasila, welcome back. Good to see you. Lightning strike. Lightning strike, lightning. Do we need that for something else? Yeah, maybe for Guild Enforcer. Ember Oni is going to burn anyway. Let's refill the board. He's at full health anyway. I guess Oni is not that much of a threat at the moment. But we need to use that lightning strike for it. Candy chain. This is a problem. Hmm. 
Theriel. But do we want to play him now? I guess we need Swart Basilisk probably to... To get the candy chain under control. And I guess to save Swart Basilisk we also play Primal Guidance. No. No. Just took Authorial with Cutthroat. That's a pit. Stone Skin Poison too. Awaken. Oh, okay. Let's create. Each friendly creature gets two Reagan. Why not? So we can heal up the burn again that is the stone skin poison doing. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Another candy chain. Oh god. Now we could top deck Aiko. That would be... Okay, no I. Swelling Boon. Yeah, we play Swelling Boon. NOP Sniper. The Spart Basilisk is going to die anyway. Two, seven, that's pretty sticky. Oni again. Ah, but here we need the lightning strike, I guess. Save or canopy sniper. Oh, good to see you entering the giveaway game for Sila. Yeah. Let's lightning strike it. Let's play Pyramide Warden to guard it a little. Mm. Take the trial begins. 3-9. As long as he cannot take the canopy sniper down here and it's growing at the end of every turn. I think it's good. Right. Oh! Ah, Blade Borrower. But... Blade Brigand. Oh man. If ya. Let's grab Shredder. We're going to buff or... Hot. And let's trade for this one. Winning. Wow. Wow. Trey. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. And welcome raiders. Good to see you guys. We are playing our 10 P2E games Amazon Nature today. And right after that we play some Magic the Gathering. I hope you enjoy the stream. Ray, Thank you so much for the raid again and... Big shout out for at Trey5. Guys, if you are not following yet, you definitely do it. It's worth to watch because... 
Playing Gods Unchained pretty well. Dinner time! Alright! I hope you are going to enjoy your meal. See you soon, Trey. See you soon. Oh, Aiko, that's important. How do we do it? How do we... If we had just a little heal... Cannot grab this. Then I think we, we should try create first. Okay, that's insanely good. Grassroots on this guy. Crazy. Now, the thing is just we cannot play Ico anymore. That might have been a mistake. I don't know. I don't know. It might be all right. We'll see. I think we don't need to mind Candy Chain too much. Um, if we have just a strong board. By the way, Ragnar, welcome back. Also good to see you again. Cheers. I like beefy Amazons. Yeah, me too, me too. I'm just a little bit afraid that... Amazon deck like this won't be playable anymore with the new set. But maybe I'll try an Amazon wild uh, hybrid deck with the new cards. We'll see. But probably a wild deck will be just better. Artria of White Plain. What is he still having in his deck that he wants to get back? Chain. No! Candy Chain removed Aiko. Shit. Okay. Mm, we play Phaeton Blade. We run over this. That is not possible. A territorial dominion. Every life lost is a tragedy. <laughs> Nine fourteen canopies. What the fuck? This might be tricky. This is definitely not what a normal Amazon board looks like. I think there's just nothing he can do about that. He still got Zerus, Arbiter of Trial in his deck, and Aiko. He already had Charm. Fighting Fair is not doing too much if they have so much help. I think we are just going to win. It is exactly what Amazon was made to look like. Yeah, Bully. Okay, he's taking that, trading that into this one, I guess. To get rid of it. Yeah.
Needs to kill one more. Or he's going to die next turn. Ah, thievery, okay. But I guess he cannot get anything from thievery that, that helps survive. Careful, he has the gods unchained. No, he cannot have the gods unchained. Because he has the candies unchained. GG. Gods Unchained is a uh, war exclusive card and he's playing Deception, so don't worry. Monster Canopy Sniper. Yeah, you're right. 6-0. I don't know. Has it? Insane that you won that. Yeah, totally insane. I haven't seen that coming. I uh, thought already if he should concede when he was shuffling our Aiko in with his um, cutthroat and then came Ember Oni and I thought, oh, oh. We, were, we are so much behind. We can never come back. But this is this game is the proof. Never give up. Never give up, especially if you have a god power like Create where you can just get crazy stuff. And yeah, when when you have that Spelling Boon card, for example, and your opponent can just not remove that creature, it grows infinitely over time. It's just crazy. We're gonna give you... Never gonna let you... Down. On the other hand, at the same time, when you desperately need something, create can just give you shit. So, this is um, Olympian War. Olympian War is also a very hard matchup. I usually lose that. But we are going first, so we might have a chance. We'll see. We can definitely finish Ashen Child easy with Canopy Sniper, but now already one of his creatures is pretty big. I'm not sure if he can, can, he can deal with it, if he plays, for example, now a big village vendor or something. Oh, we could. Ah, but he's getting rid of Canopy. Okay. Is playing Savage Strike twice. And Lycaios Adherent twice, so we are keeping Landcaller Captain. We are not going to play that anytime soon. We just play it in case of emergency or as a finisher. Otherwise, this will be wasted for sure. Because he plays four cards that counter that. It's not worth it. It gives him too much advantage. Hmm, 4-4 four, four village vendor, that's what I was afraid of. Hmm, big problem. He could trade it off. But I'm uncomfortable with that. But if he don't... It might get even worse. If the river jumper was just a 4-4. Four, four. Like watching grass grow. He got only two cards. Maybe I'm I'm just sick and I play land caller captain. Okay, it's hitting him. I was hoping it would hit him, but okay, even if he got Lycaios or a Savage Strike, we are going to have two survivors and he's down to three cards. Let's see.
I think it was probably worth to clear the board to play Landcaller. Yeah, yeah, he got Lycaios. Damn it. Rissi, welcome back. Good to see you. Awaken. He's not pipping into Fracture to kill him? Hmm. Uh, if we had uh, two more favor, we could hit the face, grab this guy, trade him off and ping him. But not like this. Oh, another one. Shit. That's bad. That's really bad. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we should have traded. Now we lose our board. He's getting Ash and Child back. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Wow, lash out is great. Chrissy, good to see. How are you doing today? Deal four damage to a random enemy creature. Repeat once if you have fewer creatures than your opponent. This is just crazy. Ah, right for God. Down to 23. White for guard is a problem with the protected. Getting special buckler. Uh. Uh oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Gotta try that. Ah, not too bad. Could have hit worse. I guess we are going to lose. Question, why would he do that with the swashbuckler? It's not even a normal play. Bully, I have no clue. I have actually... Dip into a one drop that does nothing much. Yeah, yeah, it's strange. Guess we got a place. We are still going to die. All not fast enough. He could just top deck Hortak. Yeah, it's game over. I guess somewhere that streak had to end. 6-1. So, three more games with Amazon. And then I'm going to switch to Magic the Gathering Arena. For another Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Ah. Lucha. Sure.
Place relic war, interesting. Relic war. I guess today you kick quite a few magics as magicians asses, yeah. We have met four magic players, no, no, three magic players so far. Vice card draw magic and mm, twice card draw magic. And once it was like a strange mid-range magic. And now you got the third war opponent. I'm jealous. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure if you should be jealous because it's relic war, isn't Relic War kicking your ass when you play Board Pipe Death? I'm not quite sure actually, but I thought this would be a bad matchup. <laughs> Is it Relic War? Then I'm not jealous. Yeah, um, the last war deck he played was Relic War. I'm not sure if it's if it is still, but yeah, it is Relic War. Take a look. Awaken. Okay. I guess we are just going Y. The good thing here is we can be pretty aggressive in the beginning and hopefully not losing too many creatures and then when we can grab the Swart Basilisk we have a nice advantage. No worries. A new expansion. Relic War is my food once again. <laughs> alright, alright. We also got some relics going here. We play it just to get the additional favor next turn. So we can make sure we get the Swat Basilisk. Three Viet Medex. Welcome back. Kak Diala. Hmm, Savage Strike hurts pretty much. He's going to Fracture and he can still finish. A oh, Sanctum Guardian, crazy. Ja, super. Hmm. If we play Divya now, he's just going to finish it with the blade and fracture. I guess we gotta create. I've done all that I can. Parasho, Madex. Parasho. Hmm. Daskia. So, no Vova. Yeah, yeah, super Doge. I can't do that. I guess we hit the phase. And we still don't have enough favor. What could he get from Zaskia? Claw and Fang? Uh, and Retaliation? Ah, that's not good. I have actually no clue what to do. Oh, and he got the Swart Basilisk. Ah, oh, that was bad. That was bad. For now, I must rest. Revivification. Maybe no create. Better pick versus war in general. Ubera, lol. Welcome. 
on board. I guess I've never seen you before here. Good to see you. I don't know, actually. Um, against Zoo War, I'm doing pretty good with Create. But against Relic War, maybe Betcha could be better. Hi. I'm not quite sure about it, actually. But you could be right. Let's run over the Swap Basilisk. But I guess he's going to kill us next turn. This guy! Following since 24th December 22. Uh, I don't I don't remember Guberalo though. Silent follower, probably. Or change the name. Did you change your name? Hmm, we're down to 11. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Tifa Bera before. Yeah, now I remember. All right. We're going to die. We're going to die. Und Deutsch. Moin. Hey, moin. Hmm, no, this is not going to be any help. That's it. You messed up when you didn't trade the 6-2 with Relic and Myrtos. There was no comeback anymore. You think so, you think so. If we did it like that... Hmm... Yeah, okay, we lost tempo there. I guess... Yet... Yeah, maybe you are right. Yeah, and you pick up Basilisk instead. Oh yeah, that could be... That could be very important to pick up the Basilisk, yeah. Definitely. You're right. Could have been a different game then. Oh, by the way, I just see Chrissy is already watching seven streams in a row. Thank you so much. They only run three relics, right? Uh, they run... Blade of Sticks once. And the Dragon Fang twice. Yeah, only three relics. So Swart Basilisk could have been insane. That's right. So well, this is Olympian War again. No, I'm jealous for sure. Damn, another war. Yeah, that's Olympian. I've only hit ten stream streaks once. I see. How was Weekend Ranked? What did you play? Is the reward already from the new set this weekend, by the way? I think it's still the old one, but I'm not sure. We were playing Amazon Nature. Um, this Amazon deck, this more mid rangey version. And... And we played in Mythic for 11 wins. So I'm pretty satisfied about that. Let's play Faith Flame Blade. Get rid of this one easily and hit the face. No additional channel points for me. Speak at old one. Two. Thank you. Good job. Good job for sure. Oh, a 3-3 three, three Artinian Archer. Hmm. I guess we need our underbrush board to take care of that, huh? Do not lose the board. Canopy Sniper is doing nothing yet. Phaeton Blade not too... 
Do it. Yeah, I guess we got to do it. We all have our limitations. We can get Gleam later. Gleam. Do we need Gleam? It's not playing Martyr of White Plane. Warmonger Smith. He has Ash and Child inside. But Ash and Child did already its job. On the other hand, he's going to finish. That is not possible. Or Pyramid Warden next turn, and we don't want him to get anything back, so. I think it's good, yeah. That is not possible. Hmm. Should be fine. Mmm, this guy is a problem. Ouch. Going to finish Feet Hornblade now. That's sad. My turn. Aiko. I guess he's not playing any relics, right? Landcaller Captain is just not good. Kostian Atui Tiel Bui Stopia Bim Pat Ischam Pat Dal? He is playing Savaged. Oh, I gotta look that up. I, I'm not that good at Russian, actually. Gotta finish this one. And I guess... Before we give him too much targets for Savage Strike, we play Undersea Harvest. Privyet and good luck. Spasiva! Exo, welcome back. Privyet. Um. I think he wants to give sub to your community. Think so? I would be happy. Passiva. Da. Yachachu, Madex. Passiva. <laughs> Not subs, but crypto. Why not? Hmm, what are we going to do here? You like this? Oh, previous. I don't know. This is going to be hard. We have to be careful we don't play too much because of Savage Strike. Hmm. Uh oh.
By the way, Otis, welcome back. I'm doing good, thank you. How do you pronounce Riviet again? Uh, I would pronounce it Riviet. But I'm not sure if it's uh, completely right like I do it. I'm not uh, Russian, actually. Hmm. We need to deal with this bot somehow. Leave yet. Yeah. Let's play Sanctum Guardian. Yeah, super Atui. Super Toge. Ah, it was hitting the face only. Not good. I guess we have to kill Village Vendor. Otherwise, this board will be growing too much. But I think actually we are going to die anyway. Our hand is not good, our board is not good here. Olympian War is going to overwhelm us. Not so bad. I got up today earlier and now enjoying Consta's stream. Great. That sounds like a good start for the day, Otis. Thank you for watching. Oh god. We could survive one more turn with Winter's Bounty, maybe. But we have no no way to deal with that board. Hmm. If we draw Hortag, trading like like the wing eight. 40, 19 damage. 19 damage if we draw a attack with. Ah, oh, it's game. Uh, oops, wrong, wrong emoji. GG. Hortak and Oli War? No, I mean. Is he playing Hortak? No, he's not playing Hortak. I mean, if I draw a Hortak. All right. Standing 6-3 now. One last game. And then I take a short break. Get a new cup of coffee and then switch to Magic the Gathering. Next opponent is magic again. Agro magic. So, I mean, divine coconut magic, right? No. What? This is agro magic, but he forgot the coconut. It's agro magic without cocoa. I guess I'll take animal bond here. Forgot coconut. No, he's not. He's playing a different kind of agro magic deck. He's playing Stormfield. Stormfield. Um... I just read agro magic and thought, huh? There's no coconut in there. But he's playing a different type of... Kostya, Yesli, Rochish, Stjelai, Loteriu, Dlia, Svoich, Pot, Iskov, Ja, Skin, 
pa vat sat bak sof um Um, gotta look it up again. Hmm. Mm. Da, Maddox, Kanyeshna. No, Kak. Wood key. Ente. Uh, yeah. Я не знаю, как это утки. Let's hit this. Let's take a look where the boar go. Ah, the boar is not. That racist. Yeah, I have never done that before. Как участвовать в так races. finish it. Let's finish this one. Boar goes for base. Guess we play animal bond and thorn blade.
I guess well, Moto's daughter should be all right. We can finish Demetrios. Face hard. Let's play Gleam Weaver too. For a little bit more pressure. He got a pretty full hand. Got a pretty full hand. GG. I guess. Um, we could probably do a duck race with like numbers and then I could count. Um, then I could count down the number of guys in the chat. Like. I have an idea how we could do that. Let's try that. Or could I just copy the, the all the people in the chat to my chat? Users in chat. 